Finn and Rose then arrive in Canto Bight. Rose comments that the place is filled with the worst people in the galaxy, perhaps a reference to Obi-Wan's famous line about the Mos Eisley Cantina. They are then immediately caught out for parking in the wrong space, which will be relevant later. Canto Bight is basically a casino planet filled with creatures that are all fat, disgusting, crazy, and weird while dressing like royalty or at the very least Hunger Games royalty, and there is something sinister going on underneath it all. After BB-8 is used as a slot machine by a local, Rose explains that the First Order took everything from a mining planet that she and her sister grew up on, taking their resources and using their land to test their weapons. She then says that the men and monsters we have seen previously are all rich thanks to selling weaponry to the First Order. Again, with the tonal split of silly BB-8 jokes and suddenly harrowing tales of death and destruction, but... Oh well, more of this soon enough. Immediately after that, Finn and Rose are captured and placed in jail for parking incorrectly just as they found the Master Codebreaker, as Maz Kanata described. Both of them are jailed without sentiment or a time frame because of a parking violation. Right. Also, is it not weird that they left the fleet as soon as possible once they found out about the Codebreaker and they headed to some random planet and it happened to be the perfect time of day to see the Codebreaker in his element rather than sleeping or on vacation or even eating? He's just right there. Lucky.